How's it going everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, coming to you with another episode of Tiny Home Tuesday. And this Tuesday, I'm bringing to you a very special episode. We are here at our manufacturing facility where we build our tiny homes here at Recreational Resort Cottages. I am here today because I want to clarify the option when it comes to AC for you. A lot of clients hit me up and say, Mr. Tiny, do I need to go with central AC in my tiny home or do I need to go with those cool looking mini split systems that are going to be on the inside of the tiny home? Well, I'm showcasing both features today so you can decide which option is better for you. This 399 square foot home behind me has chose to go with the central AC system. So you follow me right this way and I'll show you if you choose to go with this option, some of the features that your home is going to come with, such as right here. Just like a traditional site built home, you're going to have a central AC system planted on the ground outside of your home. Same concept here. You're going to have your AC central system right here and it's going to connect into your home. So also what we would do to have heat is we're gonna add heat strips to your home. So that way it is versatile. You can go cold when you need to, you can go hot when you need to. This is going to be an option as well and gas is going to be something that you would need to add to the home also. This is gonna be a great feature. It's gonna come in gas and you will use propane. Now I will take you inside to show you the interior features so you can see where the vent placement will be. And this is an example. So you will have the option when you look at your particular floor plan to sit there and tell me, Mr. Tiny, I plan on having my couch here. I plan on having my bed here. So I may want to move my vents over or you can arrange them. So we will submit it to engineering after you make your selections and we will let you know if it is possible. So let's go inside and show you where some of those interior vents may be located. So we are currently in a 399 square foot tiny home that is in construction as we speak. So I'm going to hop in here, show you a few areas where if you choose the central AC and heat option, you will see where the vents will be placed throughout a home, for example. So as you see over here in the living area, we've got a vent right there in the floor out of the way of your front door, but still able to circulate AC and heat throughout your home. And if you make your way over here to the kitchen, you'll see that we have what is called a toe kick right there underneath your cabinet. What that is going to do, similar to a traditional in-floor vent, is going to circulate the area. The reason why we do not want to put one in the floor, especially of the kitchen, is that you do not want to be cooking and stepping all over that, and then risking the most important thing, dropping your food in the vent that you're going to have to clean out. You know that's the last thing you want to do. So I'm covering you there and that's what a toe kick is for. So we'll make our way to a bedroom in this home so that way you can see the additional placements of the vent. Now we're in the bedroom of a 399 square foot tiny home. And again, if you choose the central AC and heat option, you will have examples such as this in your bedroom of in-floor venting. You see we've got one here in the back side of the room and one additional in the front side. Right here underneath your three drawer dresser is going to be a return air grill. So that right there is going to be in place for you to make it efficient to heat and cool the air throughout this home. Also, let me take you up to the loft so you can see where the venting would be accessed in that area as well. Now we are in the loft of a 399 square foot tiny home and you may be asking yourself, Mr. Tiny, how are you going to heat and cool a loft in a tiny home? Same thing. We've got a vent right here in the floor of the loft. So what that's going to do is we have a system through the wall here that is going to basically bring the air up so that way you are sufficiently heated and cooled in your loft as well. So if you are in the market for a tiny home and you are looking to go with central air because you do not want to do the mini split AC and heat system, this is the solution for you and this is what you have to look forward to. Here we are today in Hidden Forest Lake Tiny Home Communities in Campbell, Texas. I wanted to come to you directly from the source. A lot of people have been hitting me up saying, Mr. Tiny, do I need to go with central AC? Do I need to go with mini splits? So I wanted to show you exactly what it's going to look like after your beautiful tiny home is delivered and you choose to go with the central air AC option. So this home behind me has that option currently on the home. So that's going to power all the air inside the home. So if you look with me this way, you'll see, unless you've been under a rock, then you know traditional site-built housing is going to have an outside air conditioning system here that's 
mounted on the ground. Same thing here, same concept, just in a 399 square foot tiny home. I will tell you, a lot of clients ask me as well, Mr. Tiny, what brand am I going to get? It's all based upon which manufacturer line you choose. We have brands available for each one. So I'm telling you, if you go with the Central AC, this is what it's going to look like. Also, clients have been asking me, Mr. Tiny, can I hear it? Is it something that's gonna be loud, keep me up in the middle of the night? I think not. So that is the least of your worries when it comes to the central AC. It's just based on the look of the exterior. Do you want something that's sitting on the ground like this? Or if you want something that's actually attached to the house, like the mini split inverter that I'll show you later on. But let's take it to the interior of this home. So that way you can see if you choose the central AC option, where the air will be located in your particular tiny home. Now we are on the interior of the 399 square foot tiny home that has central AC. So when you go with this option, you're going to have the vents in the floor rather than the mini split systems that are up on the wall. So some clients prefer one or the other. The benefits of going with the vents in the floor is that you have additional space on your walls for decor and TV placements, etc. If you go with the vents in the floor, it's going to look like this right here. I'm sure you've seen one vent, you've seen them all, but that's where it's gonna be placed. And we'll take it right here into the bedroom, so that way you'll see where your vent would be placed as well uh, in this particular model. And then what the cool thing about this model is, is it's a two bedroom, one bath, 399 square foot tiny home. It is the pink flamingo, for those of you noticing, or if you haven't seen, the pink flamingos already, but if you choose to go with this model, then this is what you have to look forward to with the central AC. So of course we'll go right in here and you'll see that we've got another vent in the floor and then right here is a special feature that I wanna point out which is the return air grill. So that is going to be located here so all the air can continue to circulate through the home function and function like you need it to. So if you choose to go with the central AC, you've got that just like a traditional home, nothing different, but it's going to be packed into 399 square feet. So let me take it over to the mini split systems on another tiny home so I can showcase those features for you as well. Now I'm going to showcase the AC mini split system. This is going to be multiple mini split systems that are inside the home powered by an inverter attached to the rear of the home. So this tumbleweed model behind me, which is beautiful might I add, I'm going to showcase these features for you on the interior. So follow me inside so I can show you the great options when you go with the mini split AC system. Follow me on the interior of this tumbleweed model right here behind me so I can showcase the mini split option. But before we go inside, I want to let you know this home is going to look great when we go inside, but it is part of our try and buy program here at Hidden Forest Lake Communities in Campbell, Texas. You can actually stay in this exact unit as well as several others. And what you can do is after your stay, you can choose to purchase a home. And if you purchase a home, your stay is comped by me. So you just let me know if you're interested in the try and buy program and I can take care of that for you. But enough of that, follow me inside. Ooh, right there, security. So right there, each uh, try and buy model has a security code on each unit. So that way you're definitely safe and sound while you stay here at Hidden Forest Lake Tiny Home Communities. But hey, I know there's a lot going on in here. It looks beautiful, but let's focus on the key feature. And that is going to be the mini split AC system right here. So what it has as an advantage is not only energy efficiency, but dual heads. There's gonna be multiple heads in this home. Two is gonna come standard. You can always upgrade to three, shall you choose to. That a lot of times is more overkill than not, but if you choose to go with the model that has say double lofts or one side of the loft is walled off, then you may wanna add that third AC mini split there in the rear so that way you can heat and cool everything efficiency and these are like i said cooled and heated all powered by remote and in this particular model the head is centralized what that's going to do is not only power and cool or heat the loft but it will also power and cool the main area as well so that's the advantage of having it centralized it can be multi-purpose here in the main area but that second head you know where you're going to want to put it right here in your bedroom. So while you're sleeping, while you're enjoying your bedroom, you need to have some cool air coming in, 
on a hot day like today, it's currently around 98 degrees outside and this home feels so cool on the inside. It not only looks cool, but it feels cool at the same time. And these units are all powered by remote. The benefit is you can power them simultaneously. So you can turn one off, leave one on. All it is is a click of a button. And you'll see that the bottom vent right here is going to slowly fold up. So that way this one can be turned off, the other one can be turned on at your leisure. But it's so efficient, you just click that button, it comes right back on. But what's so efficient about it is when you're not in a particular room, you can turn that off and save on your energy right there in your home. And a lot of people ask, Mr. Tiny, how loud is it? I don't hear a thing, but I feel everything. So that is the benefit of going with this unit. So follow me and I'll take you to the rear of the home so that way you can see where the inverter is on the exterior of the home that powers these two heads on the inside of the home. So follow me this way. This model has dual porches which is a great option. So shall you choose to go with a dual porch tiny home, you will have your inverter a lot of times placed off the rear of the porch. So you just follow me down here and you can see the inverter is going to be right here off the rear porch. And it's running, as you saw earlier, I had that AC turned on full blast. And a lot of people ask, can you hear it from the outside? You let me know, can you hear it? Cause I can't hear a thing and it's running full blast right here. So it's super energy efficient, super quiet. So I'd say that's some of the biggest pros of going this route with the mini split systems. The other way is you're going to, of course, like I showed you earlier, have a outside central AC system on the ground. This is gonna to attach to the house. Shall you choose not to go with the porch? off the rear of the home, then it'll be attached to the home itself on the back wall. So that is an option for you also. So hopefully today I gave you different advantages to going with either option, whether that's central air or that's going to be the mini split system. And that way you can decide. And also clients ask, hey, am I gonna get the Gree brand or what am I gonna get? It all depends on the manufacturer series that you choose. So there, you're gonna get one regardless. We just can't tell you which brand it's going to be until you pick that particular uh, manufacturer that we're working with so we can let you know what we're currently offering at that time. But either way, you're covered. Your home is going to be secured, cooled, heated, the whole nine. So I hope this video has helped a lot of you out there and hopefully this is something a little bit different than what you're used to. But enjoy the view behind me and I'll see you guys on another Tiny Home Tuesday.